How's it going, everybody, tonight? All right. Right now, as you can see, I'm probably fucked up off some fucking dollar fifty fucking cheap fucking alcohol, but I don't give a fuck. So let's get along with the fucking schedule paid fucking programming, so which is the stories. All right. Um, so uh, we're gonna talk about how probably the one night I got drunk as fuck at fucking work, and I was supposed to go see my fucking girlfriend at the fucking time and shit. And understand, she's a fucking Leo. So she's very fucking feisty and shit. And she just like, yeah, like I want the fucking world. Like, if you're gonna buy me a fucking Bugatti, you can fucking buy me a fucking Bugatti. I'm like, bitch, like I want like I'm fucking worth your fucking time, not your fucking Bugatti and your fucking dreams and shit. So what the fuck? Um so whatever, yeah, um, I'm at fucking work and my boss ain't fucking there at the fucking time and I'm fucking like trying to fucking get like lifted off some pussy ass drinks and like pussy drinks aren't like pussy pussy but pussy drinks are usually what I like to call fucking Smirnoff Ices and Seagram fucking wine coolers and shit so my fucking co-worker he drinks a fucking lot even at fucking work like I'm fucking there, and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna step out for like an hour. This motherfucker comes back after like two fucking hours, like, yo, look, I got drunk as fuck, and I went to my cousin's fucking restaurant. So, like, look at me, like, oh. I'm like, yo, dude, like, keep this shit fucking professional. You're at a fucking job, motherfucker. And shit. And so, like, Whatever, so I end up getting drunk and I chug my fucking shit like I go gluck 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 like really who gives a fuck trying to take my pain away and whatever so uh like understand that my boss doesn't fucking tell me shit cause I'm like a fucking good fucking worker and shit but he tells my fucking co-worker that drinks a fucking lot like that was a nice party you fucking guys fucking had and cause I fucking end up fucking throwing up like bruh, bruh, like motherfucker I can't fucking work in these fucking circumstances and shit cause I'm gonna end up fucking chilling in the back where there's no fucking cameras and shit and whatever and then fuck it I black the fuck out I go home I fucking end the fucking day and shit go up the stairs and shit then I wake up, I'm like, like it's a fucking normal fucking day because my ass fucking blacked the fuck out like normal fucking drunk people fucking do. And I look at the fucking text and guess who it is? My fucking ex-girlfriend. He's like, she's like, oh, I thought you were coming at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I wake up like, fuck, I was supposed to see the bitch at Christmas and shit. And I ain't gonna see it. And then the next day, I'm telling my fucking coworker like, yo, dude, I gotta get this fucking Uber ride. I gotta go see my ex-fucking girlfriend. She's probably pissed and shit, which she usually fucking is, because the bitch wants the world, and the bitch wants everything to be fucking perfect. Pardon my fucking language. <laughs> All right, so whatever. And she's like, yeah, I'm kind of mad at you. I was up to two in the morning trying to make fucking breakfast and shit for you. And I'm like, oh, damn, like, I really fucked it up for you? I'm very fucking sorry and shit. Or whatever, and then fuck it, I get fucking cheeks, no fucking problem, like, it's what fucking ever, like, I don't give a shit, like, fuck it. But then, but then there's these other fucking times where, like, I'm fucking drinking, you know, smoking pot and shit, like, probably today, but I probably am gonna forget fucking tomorrow what the fuck I said. But fuck it, let's fucking talk about my fucking stepdad. He's a piece of shit, I don't fucking like him. But, um, but, um, we, we were like, yeah, you do your business, you smoke pot, I'm gonna do my business. I'm gonna be a fucking alcoholic all my fucking life. I'm gonna let you be fucking worried about me. And I'm gonna let your own mom be worried about me while I fucking drink. That way she can fucking end up loving me more. I don't fucking know. Different opinions, different perspectives in fucking life. Same thing as fucking rice. Like, I love my fucking women like all types of fucking rice. You got your rice, your white rice, your brown rice, your Asian rice, you know, your pork fried rice. Fuck it. Any rice is fucking good for me. I'll fucking take it. But back to my fucking stepdad and shit. Um, he's a piece of shit, so we're gonna talk about how, uh, two, 
perspectives on how this motherfucker wants to break up a, a break a fucking chair. Like, we fucking sit on this shit. What, what do you want us to fucking do? You want us to be Native Americans? And you want us to cross our fucking arms and sit on the fucking floor and fucking eat dinner that fucking way? We don't fucking do that in this fucking house. We gotta be American with it. Cause he's always like, oh, I'm American guy, you're American guy. He, you know, he's fucking Hispanic. He doesn't fucking understand fucking English like that. So like, this is the first time. My little brother is fucking in the fucking house. He has the fucking empty spare fucking room. And my fucking stepdad, drunk as shit, goes to my fucking little brother and he goes, yo, don't you have to go to bed? And my little brother goes, go to bed my fucking ass, I'm fucking 18. You don't gotta tell me what to do, motherfucker. And shit. So he goes to his fucking room, and my, my fucking stepdad, he's fucking, he's drunk as shit. I fucking have a fucking circumstances where he fucking threw fucking shit around the house, wants to fuck around with me, but now he fucking does it, because I fucking got the upper hand on the motherfuckers. I called the cops on the motherfuckers. I went to that motherfucker, like, to the cops, like, yo, like, Yo, I understand you want to sober him the fuck up, but he keeps fucking doing this shit to me, and I don't fucking like it. And I told my mother, and my mother told my fucking stepdad, like, Yo, don't fuck with his ass. He fucking, he don't give a fuck. He'll get ice on, ice on your fucking ass, turn you back to blood and fucking mala and shit. So whatever. So back to my little brother. He goes back to his room, and we're going back to, he says, my fucking ass. So, so he's like, oh, you said my ass. I don't want you in this fucking house. You don't get on this casa. Vete de la fucking puta, de la fucking whatever. And shit, out to the fucking house. And he's like, yo, don't fuck with me, motherfucker. And shit, so he goes back to his room. And I end up waking up, because I got to work the fucking next morning. Like, like, I like being a fucking responsible and a fucking dog. That's fucking me. So whatever. He goes, yo, like whatever. And then I'm smoking, waking up, seeing this fucking shit with my own fucking two eyes. And I see my fucking stepdad throw a fucking chair. Like, who the fuck does that? Like, across the fucking table. Like, it's the fucking Olympics. Like, you're gonna throw a fucking jab of it. Like, through my fucking little brother's hand. Like, and shit. So he fucking locks the door, and who the fuck locks the fucking door? Like, he ain't fucking going after you, and you understand he's drunk as fuck, so you can fuck him up! <laughs> so he, he locks the door, he opens up, and he goes, Ha! Huh, you this bitch! And he fucking closes the fucking door. And understand that this is the second predicament when I get drunk as fuck, and I fucking do stupid shit like fucking drugs. I don't fucking love fucking drugs, but I fucking do! Cause that's fucking life! You gotta enjoy your drugs! You know what? You gotta enjoy your fucking life, but that's it. But whatever. And I'm here, I'm watching this fucking Korean film, like it's the fucking Hunger Games and shit. And it's called Battle of Boy, fucking Yao. And if none of you don't know Battle of fucking Royale, I suggest you fucking check it the fuck out. Cause I'm fucking on acid and shit, and there's different bags, and these fucking high school kids with a fucking collar, and their heads fucking exploding and shit. Like, I'm gonna fucking ask them, like, yo, I'm super bad. I'm not immune to this shit. Or whatever. So whatever, uh, I end up watching that shit, I'm like, yo, like, what's the predicament of me having a fucking Uzi, and fucking a guy having a fan, and me fucking killing this fucking ass? It's fucking like a percentage is fucking low, so this shit is like survival of the fittest. Like, I gotta be in the fucking woods knowing what the fuck I'm doing and shit. So I step out, or whatever, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna step out. And my stepdad's drunk as fuck again, or whatever. And I come back, and he's like, no, yo, you can't come in this fucking house. You bring people, too much people in this fucking house. Way too much fucking people. And it's only two fucking people and shit. So I step out. Is that you can't come in here and I'm fucking like fucking on ass and like yo like what the fuck you mean like and shit so I'm calling my my fucking grandmother because this motherfucker goes yeah my mother is at my grandmother's fucking house so I don't know what to fucking do. Okay, sorry.
Oh, okay. Just uh, sum it up. Sum it up? Okay. Okay, yeah. so can I talk about one more story? Go for it. Okay, so I gotta sum it up about this one more story. Okay, this is when, uh, when grown men don't cry, okay? So, um, I'm watching a movie, and this movie's called The uh, Forbidden Kingdom and shit, with Jackie Chan and Jet Li. It's about, uh, about, about a guy who fucking goes to a fucking different world and shit, goes find the staff to give it to the Monkey King and some fucking Asian girls there, and then she ends up dying in that fucking world. world, fucking world. So, whatever. Um, so, I got some, okay. So she dies in that world, and she comes back alive in that fucking world. Like, to the real fucking world and shit. And, and, and then through that movie, leaving the fucking movie theater with my whole fucking family, I end up fucking crying. I go, <laughs> and then my fucking, fucking, my brother goes, yeah, he's probably fucking crying because the fucking Asian girl died, which she fucking did it because it's not a fucking real fucking movie like fucking life is. But um, that's it. If I got to sum it up, uh, take care.